Hello everyone, this is Shambhavi and you are watching India Legal. The case for today is Geeta Hariharan vs Reserve Bank of India, a landmark case for gender equality and inclusion. In a landmark judgment that reverberated throughout the legal landscape of India, the case of Geeta Hariharan vs Reserve Bank of India brought significant attention to the issue of gender equality and inclusivity. This case, heard by the Supreme Court of India, marked a crucial milestone in the fight against gender discrimination and challenged deeply ingrained societal norms. The ruling not only addressed gender disparities but also reinforced the fundamental rights enshrined in the Indian constitution. Beyond the legal realm, the Geeta Hariharan case had a significant impact on Indian society. It challenged deeply ingrained patriarchal norms and fostered a broader discourse on gender equality. The ruling served as a wake-up call, highlighting the need to rectify historical injustices and create a more inclusive and equitable society. It empowered women to challenge discriminatory practices and encouraged men to re-evaluate their own biases and assumptions. Let's talk a little about the background of the case. The case of Geeta Hariharan vs Reserve Bank of India originated from a provision under the Reserve Bank of India Act 1934, which stated that a male child could be considered the primary legal heir to his father's estate. This provision inherently discriminated against women as it excluded daughters from the same rights of inheritance. Yani, ek ladke ko uske pita ki sampatti ka prathmik kanuni uttradhikari mana ja sakta hai. Aur isme betiyo ko is provision, yani pravdhan se bahar rakha gaya tha. Geeta Hariharan, an acclaimed writer and activist, filed a writ petition in 1999 challenging the constitutional validity of this provision, arguing that it violated her fundamental right to equality under Article 14 of the Indian Constitution. Now, what were the key arguments in the court proceedings? Geeta Hariharan's legal team contended that the provision in question discriminated on the basis of gender as it denied daughters equal rights to inherit property. They emphasized that such gender-based discrimination perpetuated societal imbalances and undermined the principles of equality and justice. Yani ki iski wajah se social imbalance, yani samajik asantulan hoga aur jo principles of justice hain, wo kamzor ho jayenge. The Reserve Bank of India defended the provision by stating that it was based on the customary laws prevalent at the time of its enactment. They argued that the provision did not infringe upon any constitutional rights and was intended to preserve familial and cultural traditions. Yani unka kehna tha ki is provision ka aim jo ki uddesh hai wo parivarik aur sanskritik paramparao ko protect karna tha. The Supreme Court's landmark ruling. In 2001, the Supreme Court of India delivered a groundbreaking judgment in favor of Geeta Hariharan, striking down the provision as unconstitutional, yani asanvidhanik. The court recognized that gender-based discrimination perpetuated historical inequalities and violated the principles of equality enshrined in the Indian constitution. The court's ruling emphasized the transformative nature of the constitution and its ability to adapt to changing social dynamics. It affirmed that laws, customs or practices that perpetuated gender-based discrimination were inherently unconstitutional. The court underscored the importance of gender equality, stating that women were entitled to the same rights and privileges as men. Now, what were the implications and lasting impact of this landmark judgment? So, the judgment in Geeta Hariharan versus Reserve Bank of India had far-reaching implications for gender equality and women's rights in India. It set a powerful precedent by establishing that any law or provision that discriminates against women on the basis of gender is unconstitutional. The ruling also demonstrated the judiciary's commitment to progressive interpretation and application of constitutional principles. It highlighted the judiciary's role in dismantling the discriminatory practices and contributing to a more inclusive society. The judgment helped pave the way for subsequent legal challenges that sought to rectify gender-based inequalities in various spheres of life. 
furthermore, the case had a significant impact on Indian society at large. It challenged deeply ingrained patriarchal norms, yani Purush Pradhan Samaj, and promoted a broader discourse on gender equality. It sparked conversations and awareness about the need for systematic changes to address gender disparities. Since the Geeta Hariharan case, there have been several legislative and policy reforms in India aimed at promoting gender equality and empowering women. These reforms include the introduction of inheritance rights for daughters, laws addressing domestic violence and initiatives to promote women's participation in the workforce. In conclusion, the case of Geeta Hariharan versus Reserve Bank of India stands as a milestone in the ongoing fight for gender equality and inclusivity in India. The Supreme Court's ruling struck down a discriminatory provision establishing that any law or practices that perpetuates gender-based discrimination is unconstitutional. The case not only had legal implications, but also sparked a broader societal conversation leading to legislative reforms and policy changes aimed at promoting gender equality and empowering women. The judgment continues to inspire and serve as a reminder of the ongoing struggle for a more just and equitable society. If you like this content, please like and share this video. And if you want to know more about such landmark cases, Please stay connected with us and subscribe to India Legal.